Good day, Grade 1. Today, we're going to talk about a lesson that will surely be very helpful for you. And the title of our lesson is Dividing Elements of Equal Quantities into Halves and Fourths. And to start, we'll have our story time. And the title of our story is In the Corn Farm. One morning, Farmer Bell got four corns from her farm. She ate one half of the total number of corns. How many corns did she eat? So now that's what we're going to talk about. So remember, in a fraction, we have the numerator, which tells the number of parts taken, and the denominator, which tells the number of equal parts the whole is divided. And now, Farmer Bell got four pieces of corn and ate one half of their total number. So she ate this part. Now, we're going to group these corns into two equal parts. So we have here one corn in this group, another corn in this group, and another corn in this group, and a corn in this group. So as you can see now that this is one half of four, and this is also one half of four. So Farmer Bell ate two corns. Now, in a four, or in four corns, one half of four corns are, of course, two corns. There you go. Another example. Farmer Bell harvested 16 corns in the afternoon. She then shared one half of the total number of corns to her brother. How many corns did she share to her brother? Now, Farmer Bell harvested a total number of 16 corns. So these are the 16 corns. And now, she will distribute the corns into two equal parts. So she gave half or one half of the whole number of corns to her brother. So she distributed them this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So now she gave eight corns to her brother and then... She got 8 left for her. So we may now say that 8 is 1 half of the total number 16. Farmer Bell gave 8 pieces of corns to her brother. So 8 for her brother and 8 left for Farmer Bell. This time, let's try to divide elements into fourths. Ara bought 4 pieces of pens. She gave 1 fourth of it to her friend Yen. How many pens did she give to her? Now, Ara bought four pieces of pens. She gave one-fourth of it to Yen. There, that's one-fourth of four. So we may now say that one-fourth of four is one. One is one-fourth of four. There's one-fourth of four. Now, another example. Sandy had eight pineapples. She used one-fourth of it to make a pineapple pie. How many pineapples did she use? So Sandy had eight pineapples, and she used one-fourth of it for her pineapple pie. So we are going to group the pineapples into four equal parts. So we have here one pineapple, another one here, another one, and another one. Then we're going to put another pineapple here, Another pineapple, another pineapple, and of course, another pineapple. So we still have the eight pineapples, but grouped into four equal parts. She used one fourth of it for her pineapple pie. One fourth here, one fourth here, one fourth, and one fourth as well. So we may now say that one fourth of eight is two. Two is one fourth of eight. Now remember, when we divide a set of objects or elements into two equal parts, we have one half. And when we divide a set of objects or elements into four equal parts, we have one fourth. Good job, my dear grade one. Now you already know how to divide elements into two and four equal parts. Good job!